Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to look at plotting the position of a floating object. So we're going to be using the floating sphere case to demonstrate this. As you can see we've got our sphere and we are going to look at the case summary. So you can see that our sphere are listed there as MK12. Now it's important to remember we'll come back to that in a second. So if we now click on floating info we're going to apply this to process 12 as we just saw. We're going to, have to keep that saved as floating motion and we're going to export. OK. Now if we open up our file, we're going to go into our case file, the case out file. And we're going to scroll down until we find our floating info, floating motion MK12. And there we have it there. So if we just open this, and I'll open up in Excel. We have this data here. Now, if we select the A column, click on data in the options bar at the top there, click on text to columns, click delimited, next, tick semicolon, and next, and then finish. All of our data will be split into columns. Now, if we select the time column, the center X, center Y, and center Z columns, and we go on insert we're going to insert a scatter XY chart there we have our floating information plotted against time thank you very much for watching if you have any further questions please refer to the Jules Physics Forum or please don't hesitate to contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com